Hi everyone. In the previous video, we started a series of the armor of God that every single Christian should wear at all times. We talked about the belt of truth. And in this video, we're going to continue with the second piece of the armor, which is the breastplate. Do you know what the breastplate is? Well, let's get into the video. All right, so what is the breastplate? Let's go to Ephesians 6, verse 13 to 14. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. First, when you become a reborn Christian, God declares you as righteous. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21 For our sake He made Him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. Now you have to understand that this is not your own righteousness. This is Jesus' righteousness given to you through real faith in Jesus Christ, because He took your punishment on the cross. Philippians 3 verse 8 Indeed, I count everything as loss, because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For His sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. Now listen carefully. And be found in Him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith then you also have the responsibility to live righteously. That is the sign of being a true reborn Christian, to live holy, to live righteously before God. 1 John 2 verse 29, If you know that He is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who practices righteousness has been born of Him. Now, the Bible says that you have to put on the armor of God. It doesn't say that someone else will do it for you you have to do it. So this means that you have to put on the breastplate of righteousness, meaning you have to put God first in your life and His righteousness. That is the condition for most of His promises. Matthew 6 verse 31, Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. Listen now. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Do you truly put God first in your life and His righteousness in everything that you do? Or do you put yourself first or someone else first? Do you still play around with sin? Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21 says, now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In our culture today, we have a lot of people who say that they are Christians, but then at the same time, they invite you to go and get drunk at parties with them. And with that same sentence, they even use some swear words without feeling bad about it. That is not a true Christian. Are you one of these people? Be honest with yourself. Examine yourself. Are you a true Christian? James 1 verse 15 says, Then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. We know that God says in His Word that if you are a lukewarm Christian, He will spit you out of His mouth. You need to take this seriously. I'm telling you the truth because I love you, because I care about you, not for any other strange reason. You need to take this seriously because if you don't, if you are not a true reborn Christian, you will end up in eternal hell. 
Matthew 7 verse 22. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. You see, many people think that they are Christians, but they are not because they do not obey God's word. They continue to live in sin. There's no difference between them and the rest of sinful mankind. And yes, even if you are a reborn Christian, you might sin at times. You might fall when you are weak, but then you will repent. You'll feel bad about it. You'll ask God to forgive you, and then you will stand up and continue to live in the Spirit. Galatians 5 verse 16 says, Walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. I will say this again. You have to put God first in your life and His righteousness. I see so many Christians out there in the world today who say that they believe in God, but they don't put Him first. They put themselves first, their own fleshly sinful desires. What they want to do is God first in your life. Don't you know that you have to deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow Jesus? Matthew 16 verse 24, then Jesus told his disciples, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Don't you see the old person, that person you were before you came to Christ, that person is dead, dead to sin, but alive in Christ. He gave his spirit to you. You have new spiritual life. And that is why you are a new creation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And Galatians 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. You see, God's desires now become your desires. You want to follow Him. You want Him to take the lead. You want to obey Him out of love, not because you have to do it, but because you love Him. Because He is first in your life. He is everything to you. You now understand your purpose in Jesus Christ. Everything you do now, you now do through faith. Romans 14 verse 23 says, But whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats, because the eating is not from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. The breastplate of righteousness is also used with faith and love. Because you cannot be declared righteous if you don't have true faith in Jesus Christ. And you can only have true faith in Jesus Christ if you truly love Him. You see that faith? That faith is your relationship of love. That is why 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 8 says, But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love. You see, if you know this, if you know that God has declared you as righteous, the devil cannot come and take it away because no one can snatch you out of God's hand. Jesus says in John 10 verse 28, I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. So the devil cannot do anything to you if you are wearing the armor of God. In fact, you have to resist him. God gave you the authority to resist him. James 4 verse 7, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. If God declared you as righteous, then you are a child of the living God. So you have to wear your breastplate of righteousness with full confidence, God confidence, and with boldness. Because you are set apart for God to live holy, to live for Him. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21 says, Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, 
useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. And Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Now, put on the breastplate of righteousness every single day of your life. And remember that you have been set apart by God to live righteously, to live holy for Him. In the next video, we're going to continue this series. We're going to talk about the third piece of the armor. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done so already, so you won't miss that video. And always remember, God loves you, and I love you too. Bye. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee.